Hello, Valley Bible Church. Welcome to VBC Daily 3. My name's Randy Osti. I'm one of the deacons at Valley Bible. And today we're reading John 6, 41 to 46. Now remember, we're going to read the text three times, and we're going to ask three questions. And the questions are, what does it say about God? What does it say about us? And what are we going to do about it? So the first thing I notice is that the text starts with, therefore. And I don't know about you, but I like starting uh, at the beginning of a story, not in the middle. And so I went back to get some context. And what I found out is that God's talking a lot about bread. Uh, we learn in this chapter that Jesus feeds 5,000 men, not including women and children, with five loaves of bread. Um, there's also a lot of talk about how God fed his people with bread from heaven, which is called manna. And lastly, and I will say most importantly, this is where Jesus says, I am the bread of life, and I have come down from heaven. So there's the backdrop to the story. Now, let's go ahead and pick it up and read John 6, 41 to 46. It says, Therefore, the Jews were grumbling about him because he said, I am the bread that came down out of heaven. They were saying, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How does he now say, I have come down out of heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Do not grumble among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be taught of God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. So, what does it say about God? Well, first of all, God draws people to himself. It's the effectual call. So we call God the, the hound of heaven. Matter of fact, on Sunday, Paul preached and he said uh, about God, he said, God runs at a scandalous pace to redeem his sons and daughters. God is drawing people to himself. I also noticed there's a promise in the text. So even though right now, especially with the COVID-19 and this shelter in place. Uh, it seems like life can be miserable at times, but God will never forget us. Matter of fact, he promises to raise us up on the last day. And lastly, Jesus emphatically makes the claim that he is indeed God. See, the Jews were upset in verse 41 because Jesus says that he came from heaven. And in verse 46, Jesus doubled, he doubles down and he says, he says, I didn't stutter says, nobody has seen God except the one who came from God. Folks, Jesus is God. And so what does it say about us? Well, if we've placed our faith in Christ, Jesus says, you'll never hunger. And in verse 37, he says, I will never cast you out. It's a done deal. It says we're drawn to God. See, before the foundations of the world, God chose you and me. To be his child. And it's not because of anything that I did or that you did. We brought nothing to the table. See, God does all the work and our only work is to believe it. And lastly, we're taught by God. See, as God is drawing us to himself, he's teaching us through his word. So lastly, how do we apply this to our life? What are we going to do about it? Well, for those of us who've placed faith in Christ, I say that we should adore him. I mean, think about this for a second. Just, just let your mind wrap around this concept. We are God's children. 1 John 3 says, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And secondly, we need to trust the power of God's word. Just as Hebrews 4.12 says, the word of God is alive and active. It says it judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. See, God's doing the teaching with his word, and we're simply the conduit. And my last observation is that we should live different as Christians. We should live differently than this world, and our actions should show that our allegiance is to Christ. 
We should be that living sacrifice. He doesn't offer bread that will spoil or mold. The bread of life, Jesus, he offers eternity. God bless you guys. We love you, and I cannot wait to hang out with you soon at church.